Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we will be talking about light and materials. Technically, it's a part of behavior of light. What three types of materials affect the behavior of light? Materials can be classified as transparent, translucent, or opaque. Without light, nothing is visible. When you look at the reef animals, what you are really seeing is light. You can see a reef through the water because light passes through the water between the reef and your eyes. But you can't see the reef through the bottom of a boat because technically light doesn't pass through the boat. A transparent material transmits light, which means it allows most of the light that strikes it to pass through it. The water where the fish and coral live is transparent. While riding on a bus, you can see buildings and trees outside because the bus windows are transparent. A translucent material scatters light. If you can see through a material, but the objects you see through it do not look clear or it, or it looks distinct, then the material is translucent. Looking into a room through a frosted glass door, you can make out shapes but they are fuzzy and lack details. An opaque material either absorbs or reflects all of the light that strikes it. Most materials are opaque. An opaque object does not allow any light to pass through it. Wood and metal are examples of opaque materials. The translucent bars of soap scatter light, making the soaps and what you can see through them appear a bit fuzzy. Opaque materials do not transmit any light as you can see here in the picture and as you can see here in the picture as well. Then we are going to be moving to talk about the interactions of light. How does light behave when it enters a new medium? When light strikes a new medium, the light can be reflected, absorbed, or transmitted. When light is transmitted, it can be refracted, polarized, or scattered. When light encounters matter, some or all of the energy in the light can be transferred to the matter. Just as light can affect matter, matter can affect light. An image is a copy of an object formed by reflected or refracted wave of light. Regular reflection occurs when parallel light waves strike a surface and reflect in the same direction. A diffuse reflection occurs when parallel light waves strike a rough, uneven surface and reflect in many different directions. So technically, during this week, we are going to do hands-on activities, research activities, padded activities to actually grasp the content and the concept of behavior of light.